Africa is at a turning point with annual growth averaging around 4.5% over the last 20 years. These development gains are threatened by climate and disaster risks that impact 10 million people on average every year in Africa since 1970. In the era of climate change and the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, I believe the forum we ambitiously start today will give us a great opportunity to discuss meteorological services, weather and climate forecasting, experience sharing and south-south as well as south-north cooperation. I declare that the forum is open. I thank you very much. This is a partnership with the African Union Commission. Uh, the purpose of it is to raise the issue of the needs to improve weather and climate services in Africa. I'm a policymaker. The work that the hydrologist does directly affect the success of my job. As forecasters, there's a greater need to warn people and to provide effective warning. We are working on early warning systems. We are supporting communities so they can understand the importance of the hydromet service and the climate information services. If you're talking about sustainable developments, really you've got to bring everybody on board. It's been this year 20 years of climate services in Africa. Nous sommes évidemment partenaires et de cette initiative Africa Hydromet, donc aux côtés de la Banque mondiale, mais aussi de la Banque africaine de développement, c'est qui nous réunissent aujourd'hui. For Africa to strengthen climate and disaster resilience for sustainable development, investing more in hydromet information services is not a matter of choice. Hence, African countries must race towards strengthening their hydromet capacities. Infrastructures, transport and energy, agricultural production, health, disaster risk reduction, all these depend on hydromet, so that is why it is really important that we should invest in, uh, in uh, hydromet. So this is a forum that brings together you know, like over 560 participants. It allows them to exchange information across different stakeholder groups, but also to learn from each other. Back to the kingdom of Africa program is working to enhance the application of climate information services. The aim is to strengthen knowledge, frameworks and foster partnerships for climate informed decision making. Well, this is a very unique occasion to expand the network and to spread our knowledge, what we have gained over the last 50 years. The outcomes of this forum that we are expecting is to see a strong commitment among all the stakeholders in order to reach the Agenda 2063 and align with the Agenda of Sustainable Development Goal, which is the Agenda 2030. I think we are getting somewhere. It is the time to mainstream hydromet into development. With this, I thank you again, the organizers, for this very important meeting. Thank you. The forum is ending, but the job has not ended. From here, we get into the serious business of implementing everything that is coming out of the integrated strategy for meteorology, coming out of the global framework for climate services, coming out for, from the SDGs, coming out of all the blueprints, frameworks and strategies that the world has that can bring maximum benefit to maximum people in Africa. See you next year.